Hey everyone, it's Tim from Lanasa Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today. We are your source for small ruminant health and wellness. Today I am going to give you three tips that are going to help you save some money and save your sanity when it comes to raising sheep and goats. These are three of the most common issues that I see and have seen recently when looking online, getting questions asked on our forum, Lanasa Farms Tack Box, and seeing other forums. The first and foremost thing that that I am going to tell you is time is money. And sometimes you think that you are going to save yourself time and money by maybe not doing some of the things that you should be doing, but in the end, it will cost you. Remember, if you're worrying about when things are gonna happen, if you're unsure about what you need to do at certain periods of time with your sheep and goats, that worry and that time is in fact costing you money. The best thing you can do, and we've talked about this before, is this stuff right here. This is my book that I keep all of my information in. Now, do I think you necessarily need to keep a book per se? No, you can get some online programs that are out there. You can do this on your computer with an Excel program. There's lots of different things that you can do, but you need to keep records. I don't care if you only have two animals or if you have 200 animals, you need to keep books. Why do we need to keep books? Well, I will tell you that we go back in time, sometimes 10 years to look up information on users or does that we have. Our records help us to know what's been done, when it's been done, general health, how often we're giving vaccinations, when we're worming, and it does things like help us to determine which animals need to stay and which animals need to go when we're making tough decisions like culling later in the year. Now I have my main book here that I keep all of my information in, and then when I'm actually out and about, I have my little old medical clipboard here. That way I'm not lugging this thing around. If you are going to use an online program, which is absolutely fine, the one thing I will tell you is you need to make sure that you back up all of your information on your home computer or on some kind of hard copy. You don't wanna get yourself in a situation where you're paying for a subscription service, and as soon as you stop paying them, all of that saved information about your herd or flock goes away. Next question that comes up all the time. I see pictures online. People are posting pictures of their ewes or pictures of their does, and they're saying, can anyone tell me when they're going to have their baby? Question mark, question mark. Is it pregnant? Question mark, question mark. No, they, they can't tell you. Are there lots of different tips and tricks that we can tell you to say if a ewe or a doe is pregnant or when a ewe or a doe is going to have their baby? Yeah, kind of. We can look at things like, are they bagging out? We can t check the bands on the back of a doe. But this is not an exact science. It's not anywhere even close to being an exact science. I can tell you that if I have a group of 30 to 40 ewes or 30 to 40 does, they are all going to bag out and show different clinical signs and symptoms before they have their babies. Some of our ewes and does don't bag out until after they have their babies. Other ewes and does that we have will bag out a month prior. You are losing sleep at night and you are losing your mind because you do not know when your moms are going to have their babies. And this is a problem. What can you do? What can we do? We can use this right here. This is a marking harness. A marking harness will go on your ram or go on your buck and there's different colored crayons in here. Before you release your male with your ewes and your does, you can place this on him with a colored marker and you can check them every day and you can see when he marks them. Then you can change out the color and see if he remarks them. When they are fully marked, you will know, and they don't get remarked, you will know approximately within a few day window when they are going to have their babies. This thing right here costs like 40 something dollars. The amount of time and the amount of sleep that you are losing does not outweigh the cost of this thing right here. Please, please invest in a marking harness. If you don't wanna spend the money on a marking harness and you are super frugal, that's great. Go to the hardware store, get yourself some string line chalk, mix it up with some vegetable oil and rub it all over their brisket. You're gonna ruin their wool, but it'll eventually come out and it will do the same thing. It will mark the back of them. Please do this. You will save yourself a lot of time and hassle. Now you notice I said, when you put your males in with your females, 
if you're not separating your males and your females, I don't know what to tell you. You are creating far more problems for yourself than you need to. The nutritional needs of those females is not the same as the nutritional needs of those males. The more you know about what stage of pregnancy they're in and when they're going to have their babies, the better you can do by them by providing them with the health maintenance and feed maintenance that they need to do well and to have those babies without complications. Speaking of questions and answers, are you a member of Lanessa Farms Tack Box? If you're not, you should be. Check us out on Facebook by doing a simple search for Lanessa Farms Tack Box. Fecal egg counts. You need to learn how to do fecal egg counts or you need to get on board with a veterinarian or a veterinary service that can do fecal egg counts for you. Famancha is great. Famancha is a guess as to what the parasite load is in your animal. Although, it's not going to tell you a few things. It's not going to tell you definitively if they have a parasite load or if they don't. It's also not going to tell you what type of parasites they have, what type of parasites they don't. There are medications out there that are specific to different types of parasites. So it is important for you to know if your animal has parasites or not. We get asked a lot of questions online. They're like, my animal has scours, what do I do? I don't know. I can't give you advice because I don't know if they have a parasite, if they don't, if they have a bacterial infection, if they've just eaten too much. I can't give you a definitive answer and nor can anyone else online just because my animal quote unquote has scours. You will save yourself a lot of time and money by being able to run your own fecal egg count. This is not rocket science. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. And I've created a video for you online, step-by-step step, that tells you everything you need to do in order to do your own fecal egg counts. Now, if your veterinarian can do it for you, that is great. But if you're one of those many individuals that's out there and you don't have a veterinarian that can do it for you, or you don't wanna be spending the $30 a pop or whatever it's gonna cost you, just buy the equipment and do it. Even if you're lukewarm about getting into sheep and goats, this is one of the foundation things that you need to know how to do. These animals deserve good health care. They deserve good attention from you. You would not go to your primary care provider and have them just kind of look at you and go, oh, I think you got this, so I'm going to give you this. No, there are better ways to do things, and this will save you lots of time and money. So to recap, what do we got? We got our books, we've got our notes, we've got our marking harness, and we've got the ability to do fecal egg counts. If you implement these three simple things into your farm, it will save you a ton of time and money. I'm Tim from Lonasa Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today, and I look forward to seeing all of you again next time.